One of the most common questions I've gotten in nearly two decades of graphic design and print design is what are bleeds in safe text zones? This question is usually coming from a client that is new to print advertising. So today I hope to answer that fully. When you take a design to print, whether it be a business card, brochure, publication, advertisement, flyer, or poster, more often than not, there are going to be guidelines that the printer has in place that are industry standards. Those industry standards in the United States will include eighth inch bleeds and quarter inch safe text zones. Now, I want to preface this with acknowledgement that there are very particular designs and themes where you may actually want your text to bleed off the edge or cut off, but that would be the exception to the rule. So let's look at what these are and why they are needed. So I have here my own business card. This is a two and a half by two and a half inch business card. Um, that would be different than a typical business card. A typical horizontal business card is gonna be three and a half inches in width and two inches in height. Um, but the, the same rules will apply. So the eighth inch bleed is everything past this red line here, okay? And I'm gonna turn down the opacity on this so I can show you this blue line. This blue line is the safe text zone. So the purpose of this is whenever you're having these items printed, they are printing them in sheets and they're gonna be sliced. Um, and when it's being when it gets sliced they need a little bit of wiggle room right to make sure that they don't cut off important elements of the design so this bleed which is everything beyond that red line right there everything beyond that red line which is an eighth of an inch that's actually going to get cut off that is there to be cut off then your safe text zone which is this blue line in the in the inside here is the area that your text should be within so that your text has breathing room and is not too close to that red line which is actually the edge of your business card okay so if i were to turn in this file to a client they're going to receive a file where it's going to be a 2.75 inch by 2.75 inch file as opposed to a 2.5 inch but the final cutting after it's cut and printed will only be 2.5. So once it's cut, it's no longer that, but instead it would actually be what's within these bleeds. Okay, so that's actually what you're getting. Now, that being said, we don't want our text to go too close to the edge because that would be bad design. We don't want it crowding the edge. We also don't want any important information to get cut off. So whenever we design and print, we have to keep in mind both of these things. We have to keep in mind that everything beyond this red boundary here is going to get sliced off, but the printer needs that extra space to cut it. And we also need to keep in mind that it is best practice just both from both visually and also to make sure you don't lose any information to also have your safe text zone um, in there uh, at a quarter inch in. So whenever you try to send a file to a printer and it's not set up like that, uh, more often than not, it's going to get refused. Uh, there are a few other things to make a, a document print ready that you know most printers are also going to want the color profile to be CMYK color and they're also gonna want your, your text all outlined. Um, but we'll follow those at, a, at another date. Um, this is just about bleeds and safe text zones. If you have a design where you want, say like a border that comes slightly in, or you have a design where you want the, the text to actually kind of run off of the, the side and, and maybe you know an E gets cut off at the end or, or whatever, in those cases, you likely will have to verify with the printer and confirm with the printer that your proofs, your digital proofs that they show you are correct because they're going to tell you, oh, well, you have text going off beyond the safe text zone or off the uh, bleed line. And that's in those cases, you will have to inform them, no, this is intentional. All of this beyond the red line, once cut, does not exist. And this will be the same if you receive a file. Um, for myself or any professional designer and you look at the file and you're like oh well I want to fit more info and why can't we go up in font size because um, 
you know, we have all this extra space. Well, if they've sent them to you with the bleeds, then you don't actually have all that extra space. That's that's a lot of that space is going to get cut off. And if they've sent them to you without the bleeds and you just see a space like this, well, they're just trying to prevent you from having a file refused because you didn't obey the industry standard of that 0.25 safe tech zone. I hope this was helpful.